Ladies on Reddit what are red flags you can't ignore in men? When they have to always, always, always one-up you. Never apologizing. When I worked at KFC, there was a girl whose boyfriend would stay parked outside the door the during her entire shift. That is not something I've seen commonly and it's a huge red flag. When they cannot discuss sexual health like an adult. If you're having sex you need to discuss birth control, condoms, and STDs. When every single ex they had was crazy. Er, ignorant arrogance doesn't seem capable of changing his mind or seeing other perspectives. Unhealthy dependency on my replies. Before I met my current so, I was chatting to a guy who needed replies within minutes. If I didn't reply in 30 minutes he'd start saying things like she's gone again. Or and I've lost her interest again. It became like a chore to respond. When I said I didn't feel comfortable continuing the conversation he started talking about how women never gave him a chance, and he is a good man. It might not seem to him he had ill intent but it came across as controlling and pressuring. I had to block him eventually as he kept on messaging even though I had requested to stop the communication. Later he started sending paid likes on a dating platform to get my attention. And easily lost patience and out of control temper over minor things. I dated a guy once who had an argument over the phone with a family member. After he got off the phone he picked up a picture frame that was nearby and just smashed it onto the ground, sending glass everywhere. The argument was something to do with a book. We had been dating for maybe two months. He was 26. Massive red flag that one is was, if they always need to be right. I talked to a guy who would unsend messages on Instagram if he said something wrong in them. You look smarter if you concede and say, oh, I was mistaken. Inconsistent, all words no actions, love bombing in the beginning. When he keeps talking about his ex and how he'll never love someone else this much. If they have a kid not being involved in their kid's life and making excuses why they aren't can't be. And when every ex they have is crazy but they can't admit to any toxicity of their own in any relationship ever. Just putting this out there the usual red flags are so consistent you can set your watch to them. A good yardstick is to look at your relationship from the outside if your sister best friend mother's boyfriend did ex to her, would you be concerned? Self-awareness is important because sometimes you're too close to the situation to see it objectively. Not respecting a no. Not taking it well if they don't get their way. Not taking it well if you disagree with them. Talking about women relationships as if women are a prize reward object rather than a person. Making you feel uncomfortable. Trying to pressure you to drink more take drugs not just offering, but trying to talk or pressure you into it if you're reluctant. Anger issues. Not being supportive of your feelings. Weaponized incompetence. Making no attempt at doing something effectively in the hopes that they won't be asked to do it again. If you can't put in the effort, then neither can I. Had been talking to a guy on a dating app for a couple of weeks, even FaceTimes with him, went for first date in a pub for a meal, got there he was already there, he came over to me, chatted for a couple of minutes at the bar, he mentioned he was already seated at the table, with his mother, like that red flag could be seen in several alternative dimensions. She was all excited to be there, even cancelled some other evening out she was meant to be going to to come on this date. Also stated that when son couldn't be bothered to message me she had replied. I calmly finished my drink looked him square in the eye directed him to the local maternity unit and told him to ask the midwives to cut the umbilical cord this time and left. Just so you know I was early 50s still am and he was late 50s so not kids. That was the biggest red flag I'd even seen, blocked him and technically her on everything immediately. Being mean to the pets. Never tolerate your partner being cruel to your pets. Lack of communication. A relationship cannot work if you can't communicate wants needs goals boundaries etc. I've dated too many guys who just say they're bad at talking and then don't really make an effort to really improve. It's really difficult to have a healthy relationship when someone just shuts down changes subjects dodges conversations that need to happen. Not taking no for an answer. Pushing or neglecting boundaries. If they don't care to respect the silly ones, they're certainly going to waltz across the serious ones. I wouldn't call it a red flag per se but it's a thing I'm noticing more and more. 100%, if you are feeling unwanted and unloved, and are thinking about breaking up, and then you try to bring it up and all of a sudden he starts being everything you wanted, to only go back to being distant and cold. You have yourself a love bomber. It's awful. The amount of people who fall for this is sad. Cause some people just get caught in this vicious cycle not knowing it's even happening. If I set a clear boundary and someone crosses it willingly proclaiming they're only joking. If I tell you directly what I don't want or like and you still decide your idea of funny is more important, I'm out. My boundaries are no joke. This goes for all genders really, but anyone who thinks they have the right to punish you for perceived wrongdoings is a waste of time emo. 
that's not how equals resolve issues. When he talks over me, that tells me that he thinks he's more important than me and or what I have to say is less important. Not hearing me out is not acceptable. If you don't want to do something and he won't let it go and tries to guilt and pressure you to change your mind, run. Someone who is trying to take the relationship too fast immediately and makes grand plans from day one for both of you. I have a friend who falls for people like this, and they are always the worst. At best, they're insecure, need validation, and are in love with the idea of love without caring about who is actually in the relationship with them. At worst, they've realized this is a good way to get girls in need of affection to submit to abusive and crap behaviors. When he's so focused on what he has to say, can't wait to tell you things that happened to him and is never actually listening to you or waiting for you to finish. Usually means they're too much into themselves and could never value it and hear you as a real you. Also, that they're probably only superficially attracted to you and they're not even trying to know you, then OFC why would you need then in your life? After the first night they say we will be together, forever. Big red flag. The one where they say I'm not like other men proceed to be worse than any man I've ever met. Red flags I will never ignore again all my exes are crazy, they hate me for some reason ha 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 I've just never been great at talking, I don't know what to say so just shuts down and you can never have any kind of important conversation with them. And one I know should have been glaringly obvious, but I was 26 and insanely in love, the next time someone raises their hand to me I'll be out of there. A man once told me I don't usually like women, but I can tolerate you to clarify he wasn't gay, he didn't get on well with women, he said I wasn't the same as most of the women he had met in my company could be tolerated. Not for me personally because I'm married and didn't date much but one I see all the time for other women are when their significant other talks about them like a child. Anytime I hear a man talking about giving his wife an allowance or telling his girlfriend she can't have something until she finishes some chore, it enrages me on her behalf. It's weird. I always start trying to telepathically tell her to get out of there. Additionally, I hate the same behavior in women. He's a grown-ass man, don't treat him like he's 10. Respect your partner. If he is mean towards your pet don't stay silent, your pet needs your protection. One of my friend's boyfriend was quite mean towards her bird, I don't know how she tolerated him I would never let anyone mistreat my pet. Insisting on nudes. Not respecting that you said no nudes until after sex. That's a deal breaker for me. I use this to see if they respect my boundaries, if they can take no for an answer, and because I have learned that if you send nudes you often become basically a pen pal for when they're horny and not someone they actually take on dates at all. And if they send a dick pic after you said no. That's it. They're blocked. Answer initially? A failure to listen during conversation and subsequent failure to ask you about anything important to you. Usually the one on their truck. When they're constantly drinking. Like they get home from work and proceed to drink themselves into passing out wherever they are in the house and don't see it as a bad thing because they're allowed to have a drink at night. When they stop at a store on their way home and the priority is a bottle of alcohol and they don't even consider getting anything for dinner. Using love withdrawal to punish you if you argued or said something he didn't agree with. Instant asshole vibes, upside down face, claiming they're an alpha male. Contempt. The moment contempt enters the picture, the relationship is over emo. If his last girlfriend tries to earnestly warn you, she may actually be warning you. When he says how many girls are after him. Not respecting your boundaries. No means no, guys. It doesn't mean keep begging and or manipulating until I say yes. A short temper. If he doesn't take periods seriously he's done huge red flag for me. Guys that constantly speak over people in conversation. They tend to not be very caring or respectful of others. The moment you feel like you are in competition with other women for him. Barely suppressed anger over little things. Escalating displays of anger for each offense. The need to be obeyed. Jealousy over time spent with people you knew before him, including family members expectations of being catered to with no reciprocal catering insulting jokes lack of compassion or empathy no friends of the same gender i hope you all are doing well and thanks for watching don't forget to like if you enjoyed this video if you have something to say critically or otherwise leave a comment and if you enjoy this content don't forget to subscribe to see more of it i hope you all have wonderful and fulfilled lives